Welcome. This is a big occasion. We've got the rap music. I've got DJ New Boots with me. Uh, how are you, Nabby? Good to see you, mate. My name is Bruce Stoller. Uh, Nabby, this is a game that promises so much. If you came up from Alice Springs and you were here up against Hellenic, you'd be excited. That'd be the first thing. Yeah, definitely would be. It's a great opportunity for them to, to showcase what they can do and, and knock off one of the best teams in the NT. Absolutely. And they'll be, uh, they got in yesterday, so they had a little light training run, I think, last night or this morning. So they'll be prepped and it'll just be on pure um, adrenaline, I think. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, everybody wants to beat Hellenic. And what better time to do it in the FFA Cup and progress through to the next round where you can potentially get into 32. And you know what it's like to go further in the FFA Cup. The club does as well. So the round of 32 is on an offer, but you've got to get past this side first. What have you seen Hellenic uh, in the lineup and the people in the team sheet that's there? Yeah, there's a couple changes for Hellenic. Uh, a few injuries still. Simon Bell, Manoli still out. Um, Christopher Reinberg still out, obviously. So um, there'll be a few surprises. Um, in the, in the midfield, Savas is going to be starting for okay. Hellenic, so yeah. uh, George Kapathios isn't starting tonight, right. and we're going to see Paraskas Coombe up top for them as well. Nice, so we'll see that. I didn't see the limo for uh, Belly, so I thought maybe he has uh, an injury, because if I don't see the long white cloud here, which is as big as New Zealand, uh, then I don't know what's going on. Uh, Matty Nab will be with us. My name's Bruce Stalter. This is an F... A Cup semi-final in the NT. Hellenic taking on Verdi. Now, Verdi are a really rich uh, and culturally rich club down in Alice Springs. Gio, their president, their coach, their talisman. Actually, I think he played last time these guys were up, and he's like, well, he's not young, but he's an amazing, amazing supporter, a really amazing man, and he'll be so excited to have this young squad up here. And they've got some really interesting players in there now, but I don't know if you've seen the team sheet, but there are a couple of familiar names who used to play here and now playing down there. And also, there are players down there that have had time down south and in the grades. Yeah, I did notice. I had a little look at the sheet before, so See? it's going to be a good clash. And obviously, when you've played down south, you've got that pedigree. Yep. These big occasions, that's when you rise to them. Yeah, absolutely. You know all about that. So we'll take a short break. We'll be back. And they're taking some team photos. This will be a ripper. FFA Cup semi-final here in Darwin. Hellenic taking on Verdi.
Ladies and gentlemen, please make Well, welcome. Got Matty Nab with me. Matt, you've been here before. You know the big occasion football. You love your big occasion football, and it's really special. It brings out really good qualities in players. So um, I was hearing before you actually went down and spoke to the Atlantic boys as well, which is really exciting, mate. Well done. Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's a, it's a great night of football, and these are the big games that, as a player you want to play in. <laughs> yeah. um, You'll be frustrated big... watching this one. <laughs> it yeah. is. It's very frustrating, <laughs> but, you know, being able to go down the dressing room before and have, have a bit of a chat about what it means to, to people down south and, Obviously, the club already knows how much it means to them. They've, yep. they've been on the big occasion. So um, I think it's going to be a, a tough test tonight against the Verdi side where we were just speaking before the yeah. game. They have some, some players that have played in some decent leagues down south. So it'll be very interesting to see how Hellenic can adapt to that. Yeah, and talking about big occasions, like with the uh, uh, Hellenic boys, it's practice is normal in the sense that you come from where you come from, you drive, you walk, whatever, you, you get here the normal way. But for these guys from there, it's been a plane trip, out of home, in accommodation, team bonding through that comes through all of that they have a real sense of purpose and a sense of team from all the way they've had to get here yeah and look uh, sometimes it can go the other way i mean it's exciting so sometimes that travel doesn't really mean a great deal no. you know you're just looking forward to the game and, and not, although it might not be the ideal preparation these boys will be pretty excited to be here yeah. so i don't think that will play too much of a part maybe the back end of the game but again i think these guys will be well and truly up for it and what better way to to beat the uh, best team in the, in the NT at, yep. at this current moment. They got a chance. So they head off out of their huddle and break. They're in the red and white. They are called Verdi and they come from Alice Springs in the central desert of Australia, of uh, the Northern Territory and of Australia and uh, the great continent of Australia. Timmy Lay out in the middle. Good to see. Players are getting set. Blue and whites. Hellenic will be running from left to right on your screen. And we'll get this game underway. Just a little bit later than we'd like, but it's fine. There goes the whistle. Interesting to see that uh, Savas is playing in that central defensive midfield role tonight as opposed to George Kapathios. So Savas normally plays centre-back, and you'll also notice that uh, Paraskas Koum is playing up top tonight instead of his usual left-back or, more importantly, left midfield position. With so will he play uh, just... Uh, an out-and-out out nine? or Yeah, look, I think from what they've spoke about before the game, they want him to stay high. Um, yep. I think Dimmy's gone with a side that has a bit of pace up front, and we're seeing that now with uh, Joseph Niembo. He tries to whip a ball into the box, but I think they've decided to try to go with a, with a fast side that can maybe hit them on the counter-attack and play those balls over the top. Now, you're obviously just early days, only 44 seconds, but uh, the, the line-up and the setup for Verdi, what do you see there? Yeah, pretty look, it's, standard. It's, um, yeah, yeah, pretty standard setup. I mean, it'll be interesting to see once they get into the flow of the game and where the balls are. But you can see now they're they're definitely trying to penetrate that back four with an early ball over the top, and it does look like they have some some fast players out there. We did speak before the game with some players that with some real pedigree have played down south, so um, I'm sure they're used to the big occasion. Yeah, and some big bodies as well. That's a good bit of work there from the defender. Again, this is the first time we've seen Verdi, first time I've seen the team sheet. So bear with me as we work through their names. I will do everyone respectfully the best I can. And uh, we'll just see. We know, obviously, Hellenic by the virtue that we see them for 21 weeks plus. So that's the number 10 on the ball now. And that's uh, Cam Both. And Cam puts one through to his central defence. Over here in the left back position is Dylan Hall. And number eight puts a nice ball through that needed Ross Billius intervention. And that came from uh, Romeo. And Romeo uh, Kulok is the captain. Number eight with the armband on. And for those familiar with uh, with the league, you'll also see Rabin Shresner out there. So 
Darwin Hart's player in the past. He's uh, moved down there to Alice Springs and he's in the lineup tonight for Verdi as well. So uh, he's no stranger to, to this pitch. Like here. No, <laughs> definitely not. And so he's out there wearing number two for the, the Red and Whites. And the Red and Whites, when I normally refer to them, are not this team in front of us, which are Verdi. So it's good to see them here all the way up from Alice Springs and welcome. And to their supporters and their technical areas, I wish them all the best in this very important semi final. They could go through to the final. They've got 90 minutes and a bit to do it. And ball's come back at pace and came in at him. The tall, lean keeper gets involved. That's a lovely win there. And Verdi have an opportunity to go on the attack here. That's been promising stuff for them. And they'll get a corner as a result. Bit hard to read their numbers as they make their way over there. I think that's six. Maybe you've got younger eyes. I'll be relying yeah, on you. No, I'll pull I your think, binoculars think, by half time. I think, the, I think that is the six. But, yeah, you're right. They are quite hard to, to see. But... Came McAdam there with a really good first touch and then still trying to play the ball out from the back. Uh, I'm not sure Dimmy will be too happy with that in these early stages. Yep. I know they did speak about before the game, just playing to the circumstances, not making any mistakes, but early opportunity for Verdi now. And they yep. do have some tall timber. They do. My word, they do, mate. There's some big bodies out there. So, to your point, Nabby, let's see what the tall timber does on this. It's a left foot uh, corner taken about the three and a half minute mark. This is the semi final of the FFA Cup in the NT. Verdi with the ball now. It's a curling one, but sits dangerously down. It could have ricocheted anywhere. It's come off a red body on this occasion. Fortuitously for Lennox, just sat on the ground like a mixer and then found its way over. So it's NT. picked up Verdi by with the, ball now. the young K. McAdam. Sits dangerously Current. down. Goalkeeper for Hellenic anywhere. and also the it's goalkeeper for the Australian men's Indigenous football team, the Indigenous Ruse. Ross Billius goes to uh, Tricolis. Billius goes back to his keeper. Pressure there for number six. And six is Bikash Gauchin. Uh, and Bikash has had a, a long period with the Nepalese national team, actually coached them for a while. Doing his B licence here, so a really well-credentialed coach and player. Number six for the Verdi side. You'll notice here, Brewster, they're pressing from the front here and they're not giving Hellenic any time on the ball. And as you see there, the number 13 for Verdi. Lovely work from Dylan Hall. Dylan Hall, and he's a player that's played down south in the Newcastle uh, MPL down there. So oh, yeah, he plays well, Edgeworth Eagles. Uh, Lampton, was it? I think it is. Lampton, ja uh, Lampton Eagles. So okay. Another player that um, has played at some decent level. And oh, I knew Lampton's good, good club, mate. Yeah, yeah. So um, Novacastrian, you know. mate. They find each other anywhere. You go here in Australia and there's a Novacastrian, they always find each other. It's they like they've got a hidden, hidden handshake like those Masons. <laughs> <laughs> right. Pulled away by the number 12, the ever-efficient Alex Turner, and he finds the diminutive Sulav Muskie. He's put on pressure already from Verdi. They're looking good and uh, on the ball. Nice win there from, I would say from here, that that is yeah, another Nepalese right. player. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. It's yep. uh, yeah, the number two. Those two. Yep. Very Rabin, good friends Shrestler. as well. <laughs> yes, exactly. But not now. <laughs> ball comes over the top and there's been a lovely run from the right to left back. Blake Holmes. Yep, Holmes yeah. is on a, a rapid through. But uh, That'll be a bit of a feature tonight from the from Hellenic side. They'll be looking to get that left and right back in behind the defence, having the wingers tuck in a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see if they get any joy out of that. But it was a good good ball and good play from Blake, chasing that ball down. And, and you happy you – sorry, mate, I was going to – you are talking about Stylianos uh, Rodos and yep. uh, Blake Holmes, is Blake it? Blake Holmes, yeah. Okay, left and right back. You're looking for them to overlap a bit? Yep, for sure. All right, let's see it. Um, still have Muskie on the ball. It'll be a right footer. It'll be interesting to see yeah. how they deal with this tall timber of Verdi because they are some big boys out there. So Hellenic spaced, keeper ready in green, the black leggings, black shorts, black gloves. He's a tall, lean individual. And now his first involvement is there. Look at the pace of the young man. Comes around. He looks a footballer, that boy, in curls. He does. And his name is uh, Chudia Kulang. I hope that's right, Chudia. But welcome, mate. Here's a chance, number 11 on the ball. And Fabrice Wamama. And Fabrice. That was a great play for him. And they Strong de stuff. They definitely look up for this game. And, yep. and why wouldn't they be? They've come mm. here and they're yep. ready to knock this Hellenic side off their perch. But Number 11 it's been on a great the ball. start for Verdi at the moment. I'm sure their coach would be pretty impressed with the way they've started. And Fabrice started. Wamama. And that was uh, Fabrice Wamama. And he is birthplace is the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. High school teacher. 
and he's played on the north coast in New South Wales for Urunga FC. And Urunga, mate, is such a beautiful plate. I surfed there so many times, it's gorgeous. It Coffs Heart and Coffs Coast Tigers as well. So um, he'll have sand You're in his welcome, boots. Mate. <laughs> but, a um, he'll enjoy the night. The ball. And uh, his biggest achievement, I love this, the father of three beautiful Fabrice girls. Wamama. Lovely stuff. Uh, Fabrice, number 11, look for him. He's been early and active. There's an opportunity again. You see the pressure they're putting on, and that's great work oh. for number six. They're not going to have it easy out of the back there, Hellenic. They love to play with a, a patient out from the back style. And Yabby, that uh, looks like that. Nabby, I'll just call you Yabby, which is the small <laughs> thing that you find in fresh water. <laughs> Plenty of those over here, Bruce. Mate, they are, aren't they beautiful and big? But anyhow, I digress. Uh, I'm talking to Matthew Nab. So, Nabby, you expect them to press like that, um, and Hellenic's going to have to make some amendments. Yeah, I'm sure they won't be able to do that the whole game. Yep. Obviously, a little bit of difference in weather conditions up here as to, as to down there at the moment. It's That's for sure. It's a bit chilly down there in Alice. Yep. I'll know that myself. I'm down there next week, but <laughs> I'm sure they'll, um, they'll look to do it as much as they can, and they're getting some joy from it early on, so I'm sure they'll be quite happy with that. Hall on the ball. Skips it away. The Vrodos gets it on a, a loose pass. Hall, Hall comes back. He's got Nyembo to deal with, and Hall and Nyembo come together, and it's been a win for the Blues on that occasion, that little battle. Hall treks back. Interesting as well, the other centre back for Verdi. Ball still there and a great oh. save. It's going to come on the rebound. It's very unfortunate, but the initial save was so instinctive and fine. But then the follow up came through. Don't know really who got that. I think Harry it looked, Charles? Like an, it looked like an own goal, to be Sorry? honest. Sorry? I think that might have been an own goal. I own think goal? It might have ricocheted back on okay, the Okay, a lot of people are patting each other in the back. That's not unusual. Um, that little battle. But uh, we're up here in the uh, area. We'll get the, uh, well, the replay and to see if that is an own goal. Ball still there and a great oh. save. It's going to come on the rebound. So it came off a blue and white? The blue and white goal? Okay. So it was an Atlantic one. Yeah. Just not sure who it was. At the way they came away from it, all 11 scored. So it now goes back to the keeper. It's a 1 0 advantage to Atlantic. Uh, an opportunistic goal and really not indicative of the first almost 10 minutes of this match. So if you're Verdi and you're the coach, what's your message? Uh, Matty? Oh, just, you know, that goal was quite unlucky in the end, but I think the main thing for Verdi is to not get their heads down. They've, they've started the game really well with a really good pace. Um, sometimes an early goal can, can, can't always be a bad thing. Sometimes an early goal means you, you've obviously got a lot of time to, to get that goal back, but they've started really well. I think just a little lapse in the defence there and, and they've conceded and I'm sure they've done their homework on Hellenic and they know that they can do that at, at any moment. So. Um, I'm sure they won't be disheartened by that. No, not at all. And there's a familiar figure out there too, an Abe uh, Amosa. I'm sure he's played up in Darwin in the centre of midfield for uh, the Verdi side. A little bit of trickery from Fabrice didn't come off. Now Harry Charles has come forward. That's a loose one from him. And uh, Dylan Hall will come up for the throw-in. They tried to play some football, which is good to see. It's, it's obviously hard to to get any sort of a grasp of what they, what the competition's like in Alice and how they play, but they definitely like to keep the ball and, and move the ball at the pitch as fast as they can. But um, yep. interestingly enough, we've also got David Clark at the centre uh, back for Verdi as well. Tricks back. By the looks of it, he's played some, some decent things. He well, has, uh, and David's been playing for a long time. Ball still there, yeah, and a great so save. It's oh, going to come on the rebound. Dylan Hall, I think Hellenic might be in for a, a tough, tough night down that right-hand side. All right, still have Muskie on a run. And there's the senior experienced player there on the ball. He's going to go for a little run forward, and it's a great run. He puts the ball through. Billius is going to get in the way. He looks across to his, his number 11, say, where was the run, mate? And uh, Fabrice on that time wasn't uh, on the same wavelength as the central defender, David Clark. Billius goes long over to uh, the chest of the reliable Alex Turner. Vrodos. This is more of their patient play. Pressure needs to be placed on them. Communication. You saw Both and Fabrice having a chat then. Number 10 and 11 for Verdi. Kukannon goes into Holmes. Holmes was a loose ball on that. So a lovely bit of work from Fabrice. It's a long range shot and a goal. And not a goal. Wow. A sensational goal. And he's going to run further than he's run all week <laughs> to go over to the technical area and celebrate. Well, there's your response 
Is that a response, Maddie, or a response? That is a goal. And funnily enough, in these big games, you do seem to see some sort of a spectacular the finish like that. There, there wasn't much doing, Holmes. and he, he's Holmes obviously a seen Kane a, a little bit, bit off his there. line, but we did speak about some of the pedigree of these players with Verdi and Bikash Gauchin is definitely one of those players. We've said he's got ties with the, the Nepalese yeah. national team in the past, and what a finish. Yeah, Gauchin, so good. The cash gouch, and what I have to make mention of is the number 11. He just did a first time pass straight to him, no hesitation, and that's what enabled the free range shot, so to speak. If you're talking about chickens, excellent work, that is so good. We have parody on the Northcrest scoreboard. I want to thank McDonald's for the uh, opportunity to have this live streaming, also to Ward Keller, the Territory Law Firm, they are the personal and business dispute resolution team. And now the Verdi are still on the challenge. Diamond Barbers as well. They're in the CBD, Bellamac and Prap. Nico and the team will look you, make you look sharp in 2021, Diamond Barbers. Just some of the many sponsors of football in the Northern Territory in 2021. Of course, the Northern Territory Government, another of those Holmes. great supporters. Holmes, we a loose ball also net, acknowledge a lovely bit you. of work from Fabrizio. This game is being played on Larrakia Country. It's on Larrakia Park in the Darwin Football Stadium main pitch. And we acknowledge the elders of the Larrakia Nation, the saltwater people, past, present, and those emerging, and respect and acknowledge their custodial rights of the land, sea, and air of this beautiful part of the world, the Larrakia people. Wow, has this game got energy? What a 15 minutes, and I'm yep. sure everyone at home is, is watching this game. And Only 13 and a half, yeah. Maddie, yeah, uh, Maddie don't is. take a minute and a half yeah, off no, me. No, no, very <laughs> um, true. It's been fantastic. And, and to I, your point, they're up for it, mate. They're they up are. for it. And I guess if uh, Hellenic need any uh, reminder, <laughs> any more questions answered, whether, whether they're up for this game or not, and, and who are the players to watch, um, I think some of those questions have definitely been answered early. Already, yes. Now, Coombe on the ball. Now, it's come away for Verdi. Kukannon will have a shot on his left and does. There'll be a corner. No, it's going to be a goal kick. We're looking over here to something. For a ball, Our ball, but... This is very probably Alice Springs. You jump the fence, go and get Ball it, which is lovely. Back. Look at him there; he goes. Very keen. Interesting. He is. Well, uh, he looks like he'd do a hurdler. Ball, Hope he's okay. Ball still there. This the great save. He's going to come he's back. on the rebound. Holmes. That's the keeper. Holmes was a loose ball, and that's a lovely Trudy bit of work Lung. from Fabrice. Uh, a long range Made a lovely shot. save and in the first instance of the goal that rebounded on him. And now he's ready. Themselves now, you know, they've gone one down. They've got to go back, which their coach, I'm sure, will be delighted. And what a goal it was, but. If I'm Helena here, they both just need to really steady the ship and just get a grasp on the game, get some get some ball movement, get some possession, and just really start to feel each other out. And both teams really need to start to play through the lines a little bit more. Yep. And we talked about tall timber. There's number 17, Cooch. I think it's Cooch. We'll call you Cooch. Cooch Johnson, number 12. Sorry, he's a tall boy. Got Stelianos, Rontos is. Uh, Long throw-ins, which is always a big part of the, the right side attack here for Hellenic. Yep. Uh, and he, as you know, Matty, can throw this ball to the next suburb, and he will do it here on this occasion. He will. It'll be right into the area. Verdi better be prepared for this. They seem to have done a little bit of homework, because there's no one. Now it comes in for Fabrice Warama, will come towards Ross Billius. Now there goes the throw and You see what we mean? And up goes the central defender, and he is emphatic in that header, David Clark. And I guess that's another advantage that they would have had before this game, being able to look at some of these games, which yep. are live streams. Yep, and hear your insights, mate. You're giving it all away. <laughs> <laughs> Kukannon on the ball. He's dispossessed. Now Bilius with a lovely ball in. That's dangerous. Needed one from Clark. Still on it. Now's a shot from outside. And Turner, who likes to have a go, got himself a corner. It's good defence. They had three people chucking themselves at it there. Yep. So we have 16 and a half minutes on the North Crest scoreboard. This is a semi-final of the FFA Cup here in the NT. One of these teams will go through and meet Casarina in the final of the FNT chapter of the FFA Cup. Obviously on hold in 20 because of COVID, now unleashed around the country. 743 teams entered in 2021. And here are two of them right here. Shot from Silov Muskie from distance. If you want him to shoot, it's from that distance you'd prefer, wouldn't it be, Matty? Yeah, you would. I think he's trying to emulate uh, the number six from Verdi. Um, Big Cash Gauchin's goal there, trying to do another spectacular finish. That was uh, spectacular. Wasn't to be, but that was he's got that in his bag full of tricks, still have, yes. so don't be surprised if he tries a few more of them tonight. 
He'll be inspired what he saw. He will. You know, you want to have one himself. He knows him quite well. I was speaking to Slow before okay. the game. So um, that Nepalese community up here is uh, very vibrant and they all know a lot of each other. Yep. And then when you play football, that's just another layer of knowing. One degree of separation in that world. And cleared away with a right footer. Uh, Fabrice Warner will make Bilius. And uh, Rossi does an honest work as he honestly toils all the time. Two players collide together there. Bit, Bit of, of commu- needed there. Yep. Kukannon. Interception's a good one. Goal score on the ball now. The number six. The cash. Now Orisa Romba goes running around. Turner comes across with a lovely bit of defence. And he'll get a uh, goal kick out of that. Lovely work, Alex. His uh, confidence and, and, sorry, his patience and poise will be so necessary tonight because these guys are going to come at him. Yeah, Talking that's about Alex Turner butter. here. Yeah, that's his bread and butter. Last minute tackles, and clearing the ball, cutting passes out. And he does like to get a bit forward as well. He doesn't mind breaking the lines by streaming through the, the, the attackers. So yep. that'll be another a big point for the game for Hellenic. They need him to be right on his game tonight. Now he has the ball from his keeper, Kami Adam. Alex Turner. You can see now they're, they're not pressing as high now. Before they were really trying to stop them from playing out from the goal kicks, but that's sort of started to disappear a little bit for the time being. Something maybe the coaches will raise at half time. As I said, adrenaline will be pumping through the red and whites, as it should be the Atlantic side. Clark in there, comes again, wins the ball. That looks like Shrethna from here. Rubin. Yep. Or is it number six? Yeah, no, it's definitely Rubin. What a moment for him. Yep. He's just gone away. I think uh, from what I've been told, his girlfriend has a um, found a job down in Alice Springs. Yep. He's found himself down there with Verdi, and now he's straight back up to play Hellenic. Yes. <laughs> Bit of deja vu. Yeah. Turner with a header. 19 minutes on the Northcrest scoreboard. This is a semi-final of the FNT FA Cup. Nice skill from uh, Shrethna there. And Rabin will get a, a restart with a throw and that the right back's going to come up for that. Again, can't see his number from here. They are really difficult to see from here. Yeah. That will be a good little battle over there between Blake and, and Rabin as well. Yep. Yeah, what we love about the football game is the team and the challenges for teams, but the individual challenges are always just as exciting to see those personal battles. Clark chests it down. So with a plum, goes to his midfielder. He looks a good player, that Clark. He does. Coos Johnson, number 12, goes out to uh, Hall. Hall turns one in to Warama. Fabrice's pass is a good one. Now it goes back to another player, which I can't get his number. We will eventually. That was a good timely intervention by Ross Billius. It needed to be. It's a great play from Verdi there. Wasn't it? Bouncing the ball, facing the same way, and just looking to keep the ball. Nothing fancy about it, but really looking to stretch the, the defence from Hellenic. Coombe pushes wide. Ball comes through for Cannon. Too much space. He turn on the left and take the shot and does. Then it comes. And it's good work from the number 12. It was late, but it came. That's Cooch or Cooch Johnson. Well done, mate. Number 12. Needed to happen. Cannon had time, so much time to take that. And again, I think that's something they probably would have seen on... Um the live feed with Hellenic, that players like Kukanen has a left foot and not to keep him on that foot if they can. But Just to your point there before, mate, there were four on that defence on Noemba, which you mentioned as well. Up they're up for it when they've got the ball, when they're going forward, but they're also all getting back. And if you have a look here, almost every man behind the ball except for the... Uh, Fabrice Warmer up here, yeah. yeah. And, and he looks very lively up front. He's willing to, to chase down any long balls. And um, we definitely got a, a good game on our hands here. Uh, referee doesn't like that. He says it's all ball. We know that. It was the, it's the stray boot afterwards. Referee has to worry about the welfare. And uh, Trikulis in there. And uh, Swithner not taking a gap. Blake Up for it, determined. Now yeah. player down. We'll see how Blake Holmes is first. Blake I did think. come off on the, uh, against Darwin Hearts on uh, midweek with a pretty similar challenge, actually. He pulled up a bit lame and unfortunately had to, had to come off. It could have been pre- precautionary for this game, but... He did go into a pretty similar challenge, and he, he did have to leave the field. Well, he's been on his back. He's got his knees raised, which is okay. With he's also going to be asking for some support, and that comes out in the shape of their sports trainer. T- 
timely break for both sides, I think. It's been a pretty frantic start to the game. Been great for a neutral, mate. It's it has. So good. Really good game of football. Quality. And Verdi have brought their A game and uh, they've really come with commitment and determination. It's been great to see. They're from South, uh, from Alice Springs, from the southern zone of the FNT football family in the central desert of the NT. If you're joining us anywhere around the country, anywhere internationally, Alice Springs, central desert, home to Uluru. Some wonderful, wonderful, iconic landscapes around there. And this team is called Verdi, a team that has a long history in Alice Springs. Their, their talisman, their president, their, their founding, uh, their father really, and Gio Morelli is in the technical area. And Gio is, uh, the DNA is all through this football team that you're seeing tonight. They're putting on a real exhibition and uh, they're making the match what we wanted it to be, a contest and a close one at that. One all on the scoreboard. You're going to get closer than that. 23rd minute mark. We've got a player down called Blake Holmes. Work's been done on him. Players have come away. No one's really gone to grab any water. It's been more about having a chat amongst themselves. I liked uh, the defensive, what I've seen from Hall and Clark, and I wish I could get the number of the right back. I still haven't been able to get his number. And you've got much younger eyes, Navi. It's your job. <laughs> He's going to get him next time. He's in just on the right there now with his hands on his hips from Clark and Hall. Just haven't been able to get the number. So now they're coming over some water. Goal scorers first. And that is Bikash Gukan. Gauch Gauch An. Be interesting to see what's, what happens here. Looks like Blake is going to have to go from the field. and They do have options on the bench. They do. Um, I'm not sure what they'll do, but I would like to see... Uh, George Carpathios come on in that CDM role, maybe push Savas Trickolis out on the left. Right, but, we'll um, see. It does look as though Felicio has come over to the bench, so they might be looking to have another reshuffle. All right, Kukennan on the ball, 24 minutes on the North Crest scoreboard, semi final time here at uh, Larrakee Park Darwin Football Stadium. We had a, a goal for Heleni and then a, one, a wonderful reply from Iverdi, a quality goal. Uh, the Hellenic one was a scramble around. Uh, inside in the front of the goals and came away in the end with a goal. That was soon put back on parity. This one comes in dangerously. Clark gets up and puts it away. That's the player I'm trying to get the number of. This one comes out of the skirmish and harmlessly goes over the goal. Still working on Blake Holmes. So at this stage, they're not going to replace him. They're going to, have to give him a, an opportunity. Keeper goes in there. Looks like Felicio Gutierrez is going to come on. All right. So it'll be an interesting uh, situation here for Dimi and see how he rejigs his defence because he does have a centre back playing C CDM at the moment. So that was Both Cam putting one through to Fabrice Warama. We're going to take a sub at this point. Referee pulls the game up at the 25th minute mark. Uh, Holmes has been replaced. And uh, to your point, Nabby, Felicio Gutierrez will come on, number 13, an out night striker. So he'll go forward. We'll see what changes are made. Billis is going to the right. Uh, to your point, Savas Trikulis has gone back into the central defence where we'd normally partner Alex Turner. And that's probably a much more cemented tradition and partnership there, mate. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It looks like Felicio is going to go up to the to number nine and Paraskos is going to go out into the left wing there. So um, it looks as though possibly either Harry or Jeff might slot into that CDM role. Right. Uh, I'd probably say Harry will be the first person to make his way there. Have Jeff and Mario Kukanen in front of him. Hopefully Blake's all right. Still working on him over there. So we might have to stretch him or carry him. So back into the game. Trickillus on the ball. Kukanen. So you just joined us. The team in the red and white are called Verdi. They're from uh, Alice Springs. And they're up here for the semi-final of the FNT chapter of the FFA Cup for 2021. That's a loose ball from Kukannon. Fabrice Warumba has it. Goes back to the number 10, Both. And Cam, Bo sorry, Both Cam puts one back into the midfield to the number eight. And that's the captain, uh, Romeo Kulok. This ball goes over the top. Nice work from Kane McAdam. Solid. Puts his header to it. Santa loss. Uh, sorry, Rodos on the ball. And Silianos has been beaten there by those two Verdi players. Now the ball's gone free again. That's a lovely ball out to, um, to Cam. Cam tries to push through those two defenders. And it'll be cleared away by Charles. 
good play from Verdi. They, they know how to keep the ball. I can say uh, I definitely didn't expect uh, the quality of play from from this side coming up here, but they definitely want to keep the ball, move the ball around, and they, they look to play forward if they can, but they're not shy on laying the ball back for somebody in a better position. It's, it's good play from Verdi. Hall with the ball now, throws it in. Pinched by Charles. And it comes up here from Harry Charles's ball. Number 12 will collect it. And that's Cooch Johnson goes across to uh, Clark. Clark goes up the midfield. And that is Rabin Shresna. He goes back to the right back, his number we don't know, but we'll get it one day. Ball goes high. Comes down on the back of uh, Abia Mosa. And Abia is still on the battle there with uh, Coombe. Coombe, lovely work from Paracos. Bilius has a chance to set him up here. He goes, a bit of a cross, bit of a shot. And the keeper is well and truly onto that. Kalang, he's in green with the black shorts and the black leggings and socks and black gloves with a headband. He looks very agile, as does at the other end. The long, lean K. McAdam for Hellenic. It's number seven over there, Bruce. For seven, is it? On the right back. Timolein. 17? Yeah. Or seven? The seven. Uh, Timolein. Yep. Adiason. We'll get that right. So welcome, Timolein. In the right back position, welcome to this semi final. Being called in the action here right now. He's the one people. He's the one person I don't have. Harry There's Charles. an opportunity. His Charles moves through. There's no defence on him at the moment. Clark's with his hands up, saying, "Slow down, guys. Don't panic." Uh, well controlled from Verdi, and the ball's rolled through. Now we're on the eastern uh, side, the Northcrest scoreboard side. Thank you to Steel Line and NTF, sponsors of football in 2021. Steel Line, suppliers throughout the NT of Steel. Service over and above. And NTF, in a buoyant economy, they're busy. They are the NTF, the your local construction supplier. And the ball goes out of play. Hall goes back to see how Vrodos is, gives him a pat on the back. And uh, we'll go in a yellow card from uh, Tim Lay, the keeper. A uh, keeper? Good on you, Timmy. You can do everything. He's uh, the no, card keeper. He is the card keeper. Well done, Matty. It's all about timing and pace, mate. Mm -hmm. uh, well done. So let's hope Vrodos is okay. He's a strong young lad. Slowly to his feet. Dylan Hall's got to be careful now. He does look to be one of those players that he's a very hard man to get, get around. And he does like to get on the front foot forward and, and slide in and, and, and make it difficult for his opponent. So we'll see how that pans out across the game. But it'll be very inter interesting to see whether he can hold back his emotions now and maybe not dive in like he, he has previously done before. Well, he has no option now. Stelianos does look to be in a card. bit of trouble as well over there with an already depleted side. Uh, so well, we'll see how he is. For them. Yep. So the, the – Two of the uh, trainers are on the other side with Blake Holmes, who looks like he's up now, so that's okay. Blake's moving around, which is good to see. And uh, Stilios Vrodos is coming onto the pitch now. Uh, the trainer was going to get to him, but it looks like he's going to go on with strength. He's holding back. Doesn't look too well, though, Stilios. Stilianos, sorry. Right, Silav Musky gets us underway. Ball comes in. Cleared away by the goal scorer. Fabrizio Rama has got two on him. And it's a good tackle from Trakulis. Vrodos is back into the play. It's amazing how when the ball comes to you, you just have to push through the pain like you. Now he's, again, hurting, hurting a lot. Brave stuff from you, young fella. That's a ball. It's dangerous. And keeper comes in, nearly collected with Hall's right boot. Ball's still in play. Now it's cleared away. And as far as Ross Billius. Buchanan goes back to him, the number 11. Shot from Silav Muskie, and it's a goal. You just cannot take your eyes off him. He had a second to do it. It was a turn left foot, and that, that was such a narrow corridor to put it through. He's a good keeper, and he got across, and the post was there, and he just found space. It was. It was a good play there initially from Felicio, and although the, the touch might not have been exactly where he wanted it, it fell to Silav Muskie, and right foot, left foot, it doesn't matter for him, and as we said before, he'll take a shot from anywhere, and on that occasion, he was able to beat the keeper. Yeah, a, a very, very well taken goal from uh, Sulev Muskie, the number 10. 
and uh, wearing, normally wearing the captain's armband and doing again tonight. So we have a 2-1 two, two uh, score on the uh, Northwest scoreboard. That's the first loose one from Verdi. A beautiful scoreboard, I might add. It is. Thank you very much. All the new software looks good. Right. Silianus Rodos with the ball, number 15. But had a heavy tackle before. Still not 100%, but pushing on, as the young fella always will. Right, Verdi with the ball in the midfield. Go to uh, Fabrice. Fabrice goes back to, I think, that's Abe Amosa. Pardon me if it's not. I have to wait for him to turn. He's been very lively for them up front. That is uh, Rabin Srethner. And Fabrice Rama now again. Target man up the front. And as you said, busy man. He goes to the goal scorer, the number six. He turns on his right again and takes a shot. They took a deflection. No, it didn't. That's all his ball. It's stuck on the fence too. Made all the crowd. And the, I'll tell you now, the spectators were going, woohoo, watch it. They like what he did in that first, and the way he took his first goal. We Sorry, Matty. One of those uh, Verdi players to get that ball down, Bruce. It's uh, stuck in the fence there. Yeah. That's another one. It's the second one today, actually. It's a round ball and a round hole. Unbelievable. Go figure. There's only one place you can find it, and they found it. Great ball from Stelliano. Paracos, Coombe. Now he's been stripped of the ball. Sresna, nice, calm play. Puts it back into the midfield. That's played by, we'll get his number in a minute. That's good work, effort. Now the run comes from Cam. That's a Abimosa to Cam. Cam back to Amosa on a run. Players come in from everywhere, including the keeper, and he'll just dummy that over the goal line. So we'll have a, a restart with a goal kick from uh, Kay McAdam. With the big white gloves on tonight. They look like seriously welder gloves. They are massive. <laughs> you can't miss him with a top knot, white nah, gloves. No, nah. And they're all black tonight. Great young keeper. Right. All the fireys are heading off. Actually, it's not the main trucks. It's the... Looks like it's the bushfire one, so hopefully that's containable wherever they're heading off to because there's a bit of breeze around today and the heat was sustaining throughout the afternoon. Right, back into the football. 34, 35 minutes on the North Crest scoreboard. A little bit of a miscommunication there. Rodos goes all the way back to Turner. Turner knows what to do. He's going to come this way and a nice battle between him and Orumba already. Orumba, Orumba. It's Fabrice and... Uh, his greatest achievement is his three beautiful daughters. Right, Clark goes back to Hall. Hall was going to go back to the keeper. Felicia Gutierrez on a run. Turns inside. Hall comes again and clears it away. Great work from the 13. He's on a yellow card too, so he yeah. had to make sure he won that ball And he there. did. And he wasn't he scared one bit to go no. into that. That was a great recovery. It was. And he made good time, and he just did that angle that was the right angle. He cut down space by going in that angle. Another Got there quickly. Another one for those watching at home, especially the young guys. When you're trailing back, when you're uh, in that defensive line, you always run back to, uh, to where the goal is. Yep. Some people always seem to, to track the, the actual defender where they're running out wide, but the danger's always in the middle. So you can sort of cut down that angle, and that's what he's done there, and able to, to get back and help his team out. Right. Let's see Sulab Muskie on the ball, the number 10. Goal scorer of the second goal. 2-1 advantage to the Hellenic. Blue and whites, they're running from... Left to right on your screen, they have a one goal advantage against the visitors, uh, sorry, the home team actually, but they're visitors to Darwin. They are the Verdi FC Football Club. Muskie with one back in. Great work from Clark. He's a great experienced defender. Now goes to the goal scorer. He puts an early ball over to Fabrice. Fabrice is now going to come in between the two defenders. He's making the defenders work. They've got to think quickly. He is busy. He's uh, the target man, Fabrice Warama. Hall goes downfield to Cam. And Cam will go for the ball, but won't be able to find it. Nyambo's silly. Both of them are silly. <laughs> Referee well, in there to sort it out. Well done, Jeff. He's, he, he has reacted in the past to, to those occasions. Uh, he hasn't done so there, which is 
he looks to have learned his lesson from that that red card incident earlier. Yeah, in the year. yeah, just silly stuff. Seriously, bit of, bit of handbags. Such a good player. You want him on the pitch. Tim, experienced referee, just calmly over there. A couple of words and we'll get underway. 37 and a half minutes on the Northcrest scoreboard. Semi-final time of the FNT uh, FFA Cup. Winner of this game will go through and meet up with Kazarina, who awaits them. Final will be on the 22nd of June, here on this very same pitch. Not the communication and the interplay you want from Hellenic up front there at the moment. So, a restart for the Red and Whites. They're called Verdi. They're from uh, the centre Desert of Alice Springs. Really like Coos the Johnson they, over they Sorry, mate. to keep the ball here, though, Bruce. They, they, they're not shy in keeping the ball in tight areas, and their technical ability is, is, I must say, far better than what I thought it would have been. They can just keep their composure here, Verdi, and go into the break, possibly just one down. I'm, I'm sure they'll be pretty happy with that, especially the way the game's gone. They'll be getting opportunities later on in the game. With players like... Yeah, well, they've got... Mara up front, he's never going to stop working hard for you. No, no, he's fantastic. And see, there's again. And they lose the ball, they're up for getting it back. And now they're on the challenge here. Kukana knows he's in a football match. He's not having the freedom he would normally have. Now goes to Turner. Turner goes out to Trolikas. Uh, Trol Trolikas. He puts one through. And the uh, right back gets his head to it. And that is um, Timolin Adiason. Number seven. Just a little bit too much there from Sulav. And that keepers on the ball. ball. From, from yep. Savas there was, I'd like to see them try to keep the ball a little bit better there and play through the lines the way Verdi have been trying to do. And Trakillis, who you call Savas, is on the ball again. And this time, Fabrice Waramo has won the ball back. Goes inside to uh, the number eight, which is uh, the captain. Romeo Kurlock, and that was a run from uh, Amosa. Is it? Can't see. Those numbers are so hard to read. I think it is. Ball comes down for Stilianos Rodros. Seemed to recover from the knock. Young man goes across field. Look at that ball on a 20 cent piece. Great touch. Goes back from Paracos Coombe to Harry Charles. His one is not as accurate. And it forces Turner a long way back as we head up to the 40-minute mark. This is knockout football. Don't forget, if we have a, a scoreline we can't separate them from, we'll go to extra time. That's a long way off in this football match. Verdi are playing a really good quality game of football. Now they have to go back into a pursuit for defence, and it's done by Hall. And the keeper puts one back. And it's gone out of play cautiously and conservatively. Solo Muskie's back in for an early go. Goes back to Nyembo. Hellenic well, just not, not able to keep the ball at the moment. Hall, well done. Goes back to Cam. Cam goes, I think that's Abermosa. Now there's a ball over the top. Fabrice Warama on the run. And Savas Trachillis puts the chest to it. As I said at the beginning of the commentary, we've seen this team for the first time and the team sheet, so we do apologise if we get their names in any way wrong. Respectfully, we'll try our best. It's very hard to read the numbers as well. What we do see and what we do know is that this team is up for it. They look good. The Red and Whites, the Verdi team from Alice Springs. I can't say it's not unexpected to me. Just the sh sheer adrenaline experience uh, in the team, as well as just the enthusiasm to be in a semi. What a place to be here in Larrakia country. Right, ball comes across field. Coombs back there doing good defence from Paracos. Now the battle's in the midfield. Easily won by Verdi. Gets down low. And he shoots one across the field. Not enough purchase on it to worry anybody. And the keeper will watch that slowly go past. He'll amble over to get it. 41 and a half minutes in this semi-final. What an entertaining semi it's been. Three great, goal, great three goals. Two of them very good. Sulev Musky with a ripper. And the number six for Verdi. Who's had some time in the Nepalese side. Bikash Gauchin, so good with his shot. Brought the crowd alight, as did Sulev. 
Here we are. That's what we were speaking about before, Bruce. They're not letting Hellenic out, so they're they're trying to make sure they're pressed from the from the front and not give Hellenic any easy outs. To keep the ball, having to go long, and they've just won the ball back again. That's Coos Johnson, number 12, goes back to Hall. Hall gives it back to his keeper, Kalang. And Kalang comes forward and puts a right boot to it. Just one step and got real distance. Turner's there, of course. And Turner always finds a, a blue and white player. Amazing. His headers, his footwork. And that's a rare one from Paracos Coombe. Missed the ball completely. That's so verdi. Look, pick up the ball and get going. That's what you want to see. They're up for it. It's great to see. Great touch. Wasn't it? Now he's a chance. No, it's just gone too far. Too much push on it uh, from Sresna. That's an awkward one for him, but cleared up by the Reds. And Verdi will restart. Ball goes up to Clark. Clark puts the needle one to uh, uh, Coots Johnson. He goes wider where Coombe, sorry, no, Sulab Muskie has to intervene. 43 minutes, 2-1 advantage to Hellenic. They're running from left to right on your screen. If you just joined us, thank you for joining us on this live streaming. It is a semi-final. It matters big time. One of these teams will go through uh, to the final of the FNT FFA Cup. Two, uh, 743 teams around the country, two of them in front of you right here. And the, what's on offer is an opportunity to get into the round 32 where you could face, as this blue and white team has, an A-League side. And they had one up here called Western Sydney Wanderers and they gave them a real shock. Game in the end, they, they lost by one goal. What a night that was. Hellenic versus Western Sydney Wanderers. I remember watching that, Bruce. Yep. Uh, from down, down south. Yeah, it was when a, a first, game. I uh, first heard about Hellenic and Sulav Maskey scoring a goal that night. Yeah, a great goal like he's done tonight. Look at that work. That is what you want from a team. Really determined effort. Sorry, Nabby. Right, now we have a chance. Shrethna on the ball. Another good battle over there. And you've seen it? before, Su Sulav and uh, Shrethna, they're, they're good mates. So they've had a few coming togethers and a couple of 50-50s there. So I'm sure they'll be, be loving this as well, trying to get one over there, mate. So about 30 seconds of regulation time to go. We will have a little bit of time extra, uh, time added, I would assume, because there's some people down. Now's the one to come across. That's a beautiful ball. Had to come with Kay McAdam, and he came out with absolute confidence and grab that ball out of midair and Senator Silianos Vodros who's still not the 100% but gives 100% every time Hall with the ball says let's just calm down and play this ball our way Harry Charles all over him and that's uh, number 14 making his way back after that tackle and that's Abe Amosa see what they can do here with the free kick they've been set piece yeah been pretty good so far Verdi and I'll be interested to see some of these tall timber go up and if it's a good delivery I'm sure one of them will fancy their chances on right that's the captain the on the ball sorry Navi that's the captain Romeo Kulok and to your point let's just see what they do let's walk us through it mate it's a good ball there'll be two minutes of time added on two minutes That was excellent, mate. He got up to it, got his header to it. Yeah, another as you know. piece as well now. Yep. Interesting to see what they do. I always like to see a variation here, and it does look like the number six, the goal scorer tonight, a big cash gouch, and is heading over there. Yep, and he was the header as well. We just saw. And here we go. Here's the variation. Yep, that's what you were asking for, and you got it. Ball comes in. It's a lovely ball towards that back. It means Kami Adam had to come out. There's a first-time shot. From Romeo, uh, Romeo, sorry, Kulak. No, that wasn't. That was from uh, Cooch Johnson. My apologies. And that'll be a goal kick. We're into two minutes of uh, time added on in the first half. Three goals. An advantage to uh, the Darwin side, Hellenic. And their keeper will restart us with this goal kick. Kane doing his best impression there of... Time wasting. <laughs> now ball comes down the middle. Solo Musky, glancing header from him, but only goes as far as the yellow boots of the Verdi central midfielder. Number six on the ball now. Paraskas is on. Goes the other side, unfortunately. Would have liked that ball to go out to the left there. Paraskas had a lot of time there. He's going to get he there indirectly here. now. And now he's underway, the number nine. Takes the shot. Goes across goal. 
And across the keeper and over the goal line. We're in time added on. Referee just looked at his watch. Spectators making their way to the canteen. The beer's cold. The food's hot. And the weather and is And they're here beautiful. in numbers on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday night in Darwin. Perfect conditions. Hall's got a bit of a, a ginger walk there at the moment. The left back is on a yellow card. Plays with absolute further and energy. See how he goes for the rest of this match. Hopefully he'll get through it. Keeper puts it down. This is long body of uh, Chudier Kulang. And there it goes. Referee just waiting for him to kick it. Thank you, Tim. Um, so entertaining. Wow. And they make their way from it. What a great uh, entertaining 45 minutes. So we'll take a short break, come back and pick this one apart.
We're at Larrakia Park in Darwin for the semi-final and it's half time here where we have a 2-1 advantage to Hellenic uh, over Verdi who have come up from Alice Springs. This is a, a really important match for both sides. The winner will go through and face off with Casarina for the final and if you get through that then it's anything can happen. You could be playing an A-League side here or you could be down playing a National Premier League side. I've got Matt Nabby with us. Uh, Matt, it was, uh, in some ways you were a little surprised by it but at the same time you were just really excited about what you saw from Verdi. Yeah, no, I was. I was very surprised. Obviously, I don't know much about Verdi. Um, and unfortunately, their league, you can't actually go on TV and have a look at it like you can with us. So that's coming. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure that's the next part. We're working on it. Don't I was worry. definitely very surprised with, um, with Verdi. Some of their players, um, Dylan Hall, uh, David Clark, and the other various names that I, I can't pronounce, Yeah, Fabrizio Amar up the front was busy. You yeah, liked him. exactly. But they do like to play football. And there's some really great interplay there where they play the ball forward and, and just knock it back to somebody else who's in a better position. And I think if I'm Hellenic, they'll, they'll definitely know they're up against a good side now. Now, with Hellenic, we, we saw a, a set up and young, young um, uh, uh, I call him Brooke, um, over on the left-hand back. Yeah, Blake, sorry. Uh, got an injury, had to come from the pitch, which is unfortunate for him. We'll find out how he is anyhow, but uh, he's had to come from the pitch. So that, there was a restructure. So Paracos Kuhn went out to the left again. Um, you know, uh, Trachilis came back into the central defence and partnered up with Turner. They actually looked solider with that. Yeah, look, I would have liked to probably see that at the start of the okay. game. Yep. Uh, George Carpathios normally plays in that centre midfield. Yep. Role. Um, we saw Savas Trickler's come into that for Hellenic tonight, but unfortunately for, for Blake Holmes, he was yeah. forced off the pitch. And then, like you say, those forced changes have actually probably worked to the advantage of Hellenic. And I think they now look a, a bit stronger and a bit, a bit more structured at the back there now. Now, you've seen 45 minutes of both sides. You, you, you've got a better handle now on Verdi. You saw an amazing goal from uh, Bikesh uh, Gauchau. I think that's how we pronounce it. I'm getting closer. One day I'll get it. Um, but it was a beautiful, beautiful strike. So there are two things that come out of that. If you relax any time with these Verdes and think you've got the game done, you're going to be in trouble. And secondly, it's how they cope. You've mentioned it with the weather, the travel, and an additional 45 minutes. What will happen in the ends of this uh, half, do you think? I think it'll be very interesting. Obviously, Verdi, the, the travel, like you say, might come yeah. into it. But if I'm Verdi, I'm, I'm super excited to be yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. There's a, there's a great crowd, and, and if I'm probably um, thinking about the crowd myself, they're probably more, more going for them instead of Hellenic. Uh, everyone loves an underdog story. They do, they do. So if I'm Verdi, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy with the first half. Um, they're only down one goal, and it was, a, it was a pretty decent goal at that. We've seen two cracking goals tonight. But if they continue to keep doing what they're doing, playing football, I'm sure they'll get more, more chances and it's just where they can capitalise on them. And my last question to you is someone who's coming back from injury, but you're, you know, you're known for your pace on those flanks and you like it. Are you seeing enough width in the game from both sides? Uh, I think from, from Verdi's point of view, I think they're, they're doing quite well. Yep. Um, they're keeping the ball a bit more structured at the moment, I yep. think. Um, if I'm Hellenic, I would like to see Podaskos Coombe stay a little bit wider, but we've also got to get him the ball. Yep. Uh, I think at times we're trying to, to play that forward pass or that crossfield ball a little bit too early, yep. uh, as opposed to keeping the ball and, and trying to structure our play and move the ball wide when we've actually got time. So uh, I think both sides have done a pretty good job of it at the moment. Yep. Great insights from Matty Nab, and he'll save me with the second half. Great to see you, mate, and thank you for your advice during that game. We'll hear more of that as this game progresses. My name is Bruce Stoller. This is FNT TV. We're going right around the territory and also the country. If you're enjoying the semi final, you're alive like we are. It is a magic game of football. Three goals already, 2 1 advantage to Atlantic. We'll sit back, get over that commentary area, and, and look forward so much to bringing you the second half as our visitors, Verdi, who are the home team tonight in this semi final, get a crack at Atlantic again. This will be a roller coaster to the end of 90 minutes. And I must mention, if we don't get a result at 90, Matty, we go to an extra 30. You'll love that. You'll love your footy. And if that doesn't work, we'll have a penalty shootout. And that's all ahead of us here tonight. Sit back, enjoy. It's coming.
So looking forward to this. So looking forward to this. Verdi running left to right all the way from Alice Springs in the red and white. They're one goal behind, but they have impressed in so many departments of this football match. Matty Nabs with me. He's going to give us some expert insights. We're underway. Hellenic have a 2-1 advantage, and they're going to run from right to left on the screen. And uh, what's your message in the change room, Matty, if you're Hellenic? If I'm Hellenic, I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more patience in the build-up and, and try to play the ball in between the lines as opposed to just looking long and, and trying to have a big switch cross ball from left or right back. Um, I'd like to see... Sulev and Mario getting a little bit more on the ball and, and moving that ball around. See if we can link up with the, with the nine, Felicia up front, who's obviously come on and um, probably found it a little bit difficult to get into the game at the moment. But if I'm, if I'm Hellenic, I just want to be a little bit more patient with the ball and, and see if we can hang on to it and actually play between the lines. And I think they'll get a lot more success that way. Then I'll move you about 40 metres north to the change room for Verdi. Yeah, and, if I'm uh, Verdi, uh, much of the same. They've um, they've been doing really well. And like I've said plenty of times in this uh, broadcast, I've been pleasantly surprised at a number of players out there, as we spoke about in, in, the, in the break, that could potentially put their hands up for the NT team as well. Um, so if I'm them, I'd, more, much of the same. I think the more they get um, their midfield on the ball and, and bounce the ball in between the lines and look for their striker up front, who is definitely a, an absolute menace, yep. running everything down. That's <laughs> what you want. I think they'll find a bit more success. And um, the longer the game goes 2-1, I think Hellenic will be looking over their shoulders. So it'll, uh, it'll be very interesting to see how it all comes together. Comments from Matty Nab and this live streaming on FNTV on this Saturday night, a beautiful night in Darwin for football. And we've had football in buckets. It's been fantastic. This is the goal scorer. And uh, he's off the ball on that occasion. Sulev must get come together. Sulev talking to Harry Child saying, let's get active, let's get onto it. Urgency from the captain for Hellenic. He knows the danger that number six for Verdi presents. Kukannon hasn't had the freedom and the space he would normally get in the midfield. There was a yellow card before for um, Rabbi and Sresna. Chest down, bit of arm in it as well. And again, Marginal we spoke call. about it before, yeah. the, the press that um, Verdi are doing with Hellenic. Felicia are getting on the ball there, trying to play the ball in between the lines like we spoke about, but, yep. but getting shut down and turning defence into attack pretty fast there. And unfortunately, the, the number six, Bikesh Gauchan, yep. uh, unfortunately ruled to have hit his hand there before he was able to play the ball, but positive signs for him early on in this game. So... So Muskie going a long way back to keep the ball for Eleni. Goes out to Turner. Billius. Paracos Kuhn back into Nyembo. Nyembo's challenged early by uh, Abe It's Another good little battle. They've had a few little 50-50 battles tonight. They have. Great play from Kukana. And unfortunate Paracos Kuhn getting his wires mixed up, trying to find Stelianos Frontos. To your point, a little bit more width from just misdirected on that occasion from the youngster, Paracus Coombe. So the keeper for Verdi grabs the ball, moves into play. His name is Chidi Kulang. Places the ball. And those black shorts and black socks and with his leggings as well and the black gloves with that green jersey. Wearing the uh, headband. Gets the ball forward, as does Hel Hellenic move forward. And they're back in that attacking third. Can't get past Hall on that occasion. Who's on a yellow card, but plays a really vigorous game of defence. And uh, very assured in that left-back position. Him and Clark, obviously, are the great communicators in the back four. Right, this will be a long throw. Every time I see a long throw, I think of one name. John Dean, so hello, JD. I'm sure You'll he's watching. He will be watching. watching. He yep. will be watching. Down there Long in Sydney. comes in. That's a good one. Cleared away by Hall. And Vodra, and uh, Stelianos Rodos will get another chance. Stelianos Rodos uh, doing his best impression of uh, <laughs> Rory Delap. Yep, absolutely. Some of the viewers who learned it from JD. There. Yeah, or JD, yeah. Yep. Of course. Some of the fans out there might know who that is, but made yep. famous that long throw. And Wasn't sure it? Uh, mate. Get into it here again. Yep. You could throw a watermelon 100 metres. All right, ball's cleared away. Comes down towards the grandstand sideline where it'll run over. Harmlessly picked up by the 11. 
Hundreds of kids running around tonight chasing a football. That's what we love them to see they're doing. They don't even watch the game. <laughs> they're so unhappy just to be chasing a ball around. But lots of little ones here tonight. Boy, right, ball comes away. Right here. Holding it up again. Turner. Long ball on the ground. Accurate. No real width there for Helenk and Stelianos is the, the widest man there. Yep. Well, that's a, a wasted thing from uh, the number eight. They've just got to be a little bit more patient there. I know Stelianos is young, but needs to be a little bit more cohesion out there and a little bit more time to, to play the ball around their back. No point in rushing it. All right, here's another chance. Nice skills from the number six. And he pushes it out to... Uh, it looks like number 10 from here. It looks like Cam. I know that the captain, Romeo Kulok, is there as well. Now we're back down here with a left back. And that's Timolin Edison. That's a ball from Clark. Now that's um, Timolin right there, number seven. Great. That's turn. Abermosa. Lovely skills. And now he's underway. Puts a lovely ball across. It needs work. And it came from the right back, number 15 for Atlantic. Good pressure from Verdi early. Needs a ball. Someone needs to get the ball for him. Now they do. Throw in, underway. Billius gets his head to that one. Come back to exactly the same spot, actually. So another one for Verdi. This time, uh, Timolin, at his son number seven, will come up and take it. He might have been yeah. watching Stelianos with his long throws. And Let's just see. He does. Goes into the area. And that is Fabrice Swarama. Comes away. He falls to ground. Cleared away by Sulev Musky. Is doing defensive work, midfield work, scoring goals. The captain's playing from the front. Now it goes out. Oh. A ball that's going to find Paracos, but it runs past him and over the line. Probably should have went to the right there. Sulev Musky was streaming yeah, forward. Yeah, you saw it again, mate. You were seeing the moves before the players. And again, that just comes down to Felicio probably not starting too many games for Hellenic and those connections in the midfield and streaming through the middle there. Still have Maskey all alone. Wasn't able to, to, to reach him on that time. All right, here's a chance. Rabin Shrethna with a short pass. It's just a little inaccurate. Doesn't find Fabrice Arama. Now Nambo puts one through. Cleared up by uh, Edison. This will be to the favour of the Blue and Whites. Just getting a little bit scrappy now. Early days, 52 minutes and uh, 52 and a half. And second half only just on eight minutes old in a moment. Now the ball comes away for Fabrice. And Fabrice is on the ground. He'll get taking the sting out of that. He's a big, strong boy, I'm sure. Yeah, he'll, get he up, Bruce. he'll be right. Referee comes in to see if he's all right. But again, it, it did come from an error from Harry Charles there and probably fortunate not to get a car there because they were looking to break away then, Verdi. Yeah, you can't come in from behind. You know, to hit the ball or not. And that's what he did. So Here comes the magic spray, Bruce. He did. The magic spray. Throw it in. Makes everything better. I think that's uh, Avril helping out there. And now comes the sports trainer and Darren. He'll come in and do his work. Darren's not a great believer in the spray. Now we've got another trainer. What's a collective down for a group of trainers? Is that a mob? Is that a pool? A school? A crowd? A, <laughs> a scrum? You're guess um, as good as mine. A murder of crows we get? <laughs> we've got them all out there. We'll call it a pod of sports trainers. There you go. Who's going to figure it out first? Anyhow, the player's still down. He's getting lots of work from three people now. One of those uh, innocuous challenges. I know Harry Charles didn't mean anything by it, but when you're coming from the back like that, there's so many different ways that your feet can get tangled up and it looks to be some sort of issue with his ankle. Yeah. He's been busy. And to your point, well put, a menace is what you want from your striker. You have to watch him. He comes from different angles at different times. It's 
So real concern being shown for him. A few injuries tonight, Bruce, which is, is never never good, especially when you're travelling all this way. And thank God it's not a midweek game, but Hellenic did have one of those as well against yep. Darwin Hart. So sometimes those games can creep up on you. Fatigue so sets we lost. In. Yep, you're right. We lost Blake Holmes earlier, number four for Hellenic. Had to come from the pitch. I'm sure everyone at home is, is loving this game. It's very entertaining. Getting a few messages myself, Bruce, from <laughs> people all around. Shout out to uh, Dylan Arvello, who's messaging me saying he's loving the, the coverage tonight. Good. We're about to see. Uh, Dylan's actually from Wollongong. He's travelling through the NT as we speak. He's is in he? Alice Springs and he's uh, a football writer for one of the leagues down there that I played for. So he's absolutely loving the coverage. So I hope well, everybody mate, from else the, is. From the Illawarra, he'd be liking the temperature in Alice at the moment. He would. I think he is. Up here, maybe not so much. Anyhow, we have uh, Fabrice Suarama has come from the pitch. He's downing lots of water. I guess a, a pat on the back from his team manager and Darren, their sports trainer we brought in tonight, taking a look at him. So it looks like he's going to come back onto the field of play. It won't be until the referee calls him. And that'll be some time. Right, the ball's placed. We're back into play. 56 minutes in this semi-final have passed. We have a 2-1 advantage to Hellenic. The winner of this will go through and take on Casarina. Right, ball's placed. Now this is the captain, Romeo Kerlock. Look at that ball. That is a door. That's a ball with danger all over it. Comes down, still alive. Ball still a play. Comes down, bouncing around in there. Clark has it. Now it comes down to um, the number six who takes a beautiful shot. And who was there? Turner. My the goodness, what a turn. Take Turner. us through that one, Matty. That was such good technique from both the defender and the man on the ball, number six. I wasn't quite sure if I was watching a pinball tournament or the AFL or <laughs> I had no idea what I was watching for a moment there, but the ball kept bouncing around and kept falling back to a Verdi player, but Alex Turner there able to sh stop that incoming shot. And I think he it needed was to. Headed on target, so yep. great stop there from Alex. And Romeo will miss it on this occasion. He'll come back down. Fabrice puts it on the ground. Players are charging through, and they'll get pulled up for that. It'll be a yellow card to the player. And it's to uh, Harry Charles. Just did one earlier over here and then another one in quick succession, so he's earned a yellow. They were away then, Hellenic. They didn't need to foul. So it'll come back to the red and whites. Lots of communication with their keeper. There's an element of frustration in the blue and white camp. I think he fancies his chances here, the captain. Number eight, Romeo. Wouldn't yeah, well, he's there. You've got Clark on the ball as well. You've got uh, Gauchun. So, because Gauchun has scored that sensational guy, Clark walks away now. He's lost that argument. He'll go up further. And uh, you think it's number eight. Looks like it's Romeo. Yeah, number eight. Romeo. Great goal for the Could Socceroos I the other night. Bruce, did you see that yeah, one from yeah, Rustic? Absolutely. Looking to do the same here, I think. Let's just see. Four in the wall. Wall separates. He leaves it for number six. He takes the shot. It's still alive and brought in by Kane McAdam. That was planned. You like versatility? You got it then. I do. I like variation. And uh, I know that I was thinking the number eight, the captain there, was going to take that. But no, Bikash Gauchin said no. That's yep. mine. I've already scored one screamer tonight. Well, it was on... It was on target, and the uh, there were red players. There were four on that cover through. Wasn't a Lenny player there, except for Kane McAdam, who did his work. Now a chance for the blue and whites. Coombe comes across and hauls there, and he puts it away. Stresno puts it through to the middle, where Romeo, the captain, puts it across field to. Cam. Cam goes back to Hall. Hall further back to Clark. Clark goes up the middle. I think that's a Moser. Again, we'll need to see his number. No, it's Cooch Johnson. He's on the ball again. Johnson goes across to the captain. It's great play from Verdi. They're not shy to play the ball out from the back and keep the ball. Yep. Now they're working their way up nice here. Unfortunate with that pass there, but shows their intention. Yep. Up until then, 
To your point, it was fluid and rhythmic. Now it's uh, with the chance for the blue and whites. Joseph Nambo makes a run forward. Cleared away and good anticipation for the central defender. He looks like he's played a lot of football. I've really liked him tonight. Yeah, he's been great. Turner in again as Turner does. Two on him. Rush comes back on him. Alex will stay there and see if he can help out. Still going forward. Now he'll make his way back. Kukannon on the ball. Goes to Ambo. Kukannon on a run. Pushes wide to, to Coombe. Coombe puts one across field. And Hall pushes away. Nambo and, and Ron comes for their uh, wires sorry. crossed there. Yep. Sorry, mate. Goes to Gauchun. And now we have... The menace. Yes, <laughs> for Brice Waroma. And he gets through again. Turns the ball on the inside, trying to get some support. Comes late, but they're now collected here. And uh, Gauchun gives it across to... We think that's Johnson. Goes back into the number six. He tried to push it wide. This time he can't find him because uh, it's a short pass that's gone and been misdirected. Now it's up to Hellenic. Grandstand side. We are. Ball on the far side. Now it comes to us where Paracross Coombe will collect. Puts it on a cook cannon on an overlap. Semi-final time. Will he take a shot? He does. And it's come off the keeper and gone around the goal. People in the audience and crowd, spectators, thought that was a goal because the ball actually followed. It's almost like, I should get that ball to actually mow the pitch. Um, you can do that. You please. thought it was a goal sure too. I'm looking at the lot. guys operating the cameras and they're like, hang on, what happened? <laughs> uh, no, it went around the goal. And that's because you saw such casual work from the keeper. It was fantastic. So, Kukannon with a shot in anger. And the keeper up to the task. So, we're back to a corner. And it's Coombe taking it. Cleared away. Good header. Shot it comes again from Sulev Muskie, the most dangerous player out there in the blue and white, and it fell at his feet. And he did what he does. He put him back towards the goal. This time, not into the goal. Clark. Verdi running left to right on your screen if you just join us. Semi-final of the FNT FFA Cup for 2021. One of these teams will go through. Now it's time for Fabrice again. And we'll run over steps. Clark made a gut-busting run down there. Nyambo now running. Sulev. Clark makes his way back. Players are back there to defend for him. Comes to Charles in the middle. Great work, Harry. Just keep Play. the ball here, Hellenic. They need to be patient. Looking to score at every attempt here. Rather see them keep the ball. No, this is an example of not keeping the ball. Exactly. Right, here we go. Can Verdi make something of this? Hellenic's had possession. That slipped through and fortuitously worked for them. Referee playing advantage. Accidental. Nyambo's ball into uh, Cooch Johnson. Bit of a harsh one. Turner there. gets this underway. Sorry, Matty. Bit of a harsh one there. I'm not sure what he could do, but it's called the handball. And Praska's Coon coming down this left hand side now. Early ball in. And uh, too much on it. And will be shouted out by the left back. I'd like to see Parascos get to the byline there. Maybe just trickle one on the ground or cut it back. He's always looking for that ball in the air. And sometimes the, the more dangerous ball is along the ground. And defenders facing their back to goal. Yep. Always potential there to score an own goal. And good pressure from Gao Chun moving through. And what I call the left back before actually wasn't left back. It was great defensive work and shadowing from the left winger. And there he's on the ball. That's Cam. Still have Muskie showing the skills. But look at that great defense. Crowd didn't like that. They thought Verdi should have the ball because of their defensive effort. A tandem defensive effort. Now there's a run. Kukannon, big challenges. Now he comes away with the ball, still on the ball, and he puts one over the top. It's there for him. Cleared away. Great work from Verdi. And they've done that all night, Bruce. They've put their body on the line. Really have. Ball comes in again, and it'll bounce through 
harmlessly. No, is that no? It's it. That's no, out. Assistant referee calmly raises his flag. No movement from his flag until he moves because there's no breeze here at the moment. It's a beautiful 24 degrees. We're on Larrakia Nation at Larrakia Park, Darwin Football Stadium on the main pitch. No communication there. Just the expectation that uh, Shrethna would be forward and Rabin on this occasion wasn't. Good pressure from Fabrice Rama. Now Turner calmly plays away to his central defence partner. This is where I want to see a little bit more composure from Hellenic and keep the ball, not give it away like that again. Someone really needs to step, step up out there and speak yep. to the rest of the team and let them know that they need to keep the ball. That's the most important thing. And who do you see to do that, Matty? Is I'd, that I'd be looking at Alex Turner or Sulav Maskey. Yep. Time after time, we just keep getting the ball and losing the ball straight back over to, to Verdi, who, to their credit, are defending as if it is a cup game. They're great yep. value tonight. Aren't they? Comes across. Now, cleared away by Clark. Nayembo. Now, take a shot. And the keeper crouches down and calmly parries the ball to himself and now one bounce and right boots it with real technique and effect. Fabrice Rama trying to keep it in. Him and Turner are having a lovely battle. Blue and white one on this occasion. Alex would be appreciating this. He's a great defender and he loves to play games against good quality opposition. And that's what he's got tonight. Be interesting yeah. to see with uh, Verdi go to their bench at all. I'm not sure how many players they brought, whether they've got a full squad here. Yeah, they did. But that could play yeah, a they brought factor up. as well. They got their five they need. Be interesting to see oh, if it goes they, back. they go to their bench and what they've got. Any tricks up their sleeve? And this ball's going to have to be chased by Bilius. 66 and a half minutes. I want to thank McDonald's for the live streaming. Also Diamond Barbers. Pratt, Bella Mack and the CBD Diamond Barbers look sharp in 21. See Nico and his team just book now. Diamond Barbers. This will roll out of play. Hellenic have a start. Still have demanding the ball. Gets it. Goes back to Coombe. Coombe puts one through to Nyambo. He's got time and space. Now he gets tackled. Loose tackle from Johnson. I want to thank Ward Keller, the Territory Law Firm. Ward Keller, the Personal and Business Dispute Resolution. 1-800-978-360. 1-800-978-360. Ward Keller, the, war, the Territory Law Firm, a sponsor in 2021. Thank you to Darwin Olympic Sporting Club, also a sponsor to Peter and Nick and the team. We welcome you on board, also helping people achieve who do great work in the All Ability Space, HPA. Still have Maskey looking like he's shooting here. And it was. He's not shy. Need something pretty spectacular to beat the keeper from there, but yeah. for somebody else lining up, I would be probably doubting them, but Sulev definitely has that no, in his basket. No, he does. Yeah. Uh, keeper has shown he is also equally skilled. Right, Verdi playing out from the back, as you mentioned, Abby. Comes down long. Will this be Fabrice Warama? He has it. He's got the player we mentioned a lot on that right side, and Stilianos Rodros. Ball's gone out of play. We're going to have a sub, and you did mention it. Nostradamus, you saw it coming. So it's going to be a sub, and we're going to take off a six-foot-eight player and put on a seven-foot-two. <laughs> He's a big boy coming out. Who is it? Is. Number 17, and that's Mut Yal. And actually Cam's coming off, who probably be in the team would be the uh, uh, most diminutive, and he's still tall. And he comes with the play now, taking off his tape, running over. What you want to see from your subs. So determined to get his mate back on there. Great performance from number six uh, for 68 minutes. And his big smile on his face. Great to see. And it's Cam, I think it was, number 10. Be interesting to see if it's a like-for-like -like sub or whether they change their well, it's formation not, not at all. Like-for-like -like and height. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, that's uh, Mutt Yule out there now. Straight into the action. And Cam had just left us with South Sudanese, bo born in uh, South Sudan. He's a youth worker and support worker in the Alice Springs. Well done, Cam. I hope you enjoyed your 68 minutes of a semi final. So 
Those boys at the back, uh, number three and uh, number three in the thirteen, have really impressed me for Verdi. As Here we has go the again. Six as well. Free on that side now. Come in at last time to kill us. Twenty minutes to go, Bruce. Yep. On the Northcrest scoreboard, just rolled over the 70-minute mark. Well noted, Nabby. Yeah. We'll come over here with a throw-in from uh, Hall. Hall's been so solid in the left-back position. He goes to the sub. And uh, Yule goes in for a header now. Body clashes. Pulled away by Trachillis and out of play. Be interesting to see if any fatigue starts to creep in for the Hellenic players. A, a number of them played on Tuesday night. Yep. Um, we do tend to see a few cramps at, later on in the game. I wonder we'll if those conditions will, exactly. will affect uh, Verdi at all. Yep. Being a lot colder down there at the moment. Yep. We'll see. Right, Clark with the ball. 71 minutes on the Northcrest scoreboard. Semi-final time. One team goes through, one team goes home. Let's just see. What the next? We've had no goals since the uh, half time. Again, is the American on the ball? And Clark moves forward, finds Gao Chun. He tries to find Fabrice Waruma and cleared away by the central defender. That's a lovely header. Finds uh, Rabin Shrithna. Rabin pays to Gao Chun. And now is a run from the captain. And Romeo now goes back through, and Fabrice has a chance, and he just put a ball across. It wasn't his wrong side. He didn't want to take a shot. He was just unselfishly trying to assist that on. Ball comes back into that dangerous area. He's such a menace, as you put it. He's there again with a header, the number 11. Alex Turner there cleaning up and sliding in like he always does. He's so effective in that position, and yeah. he's had to be on his game tonight because, he as has. we spoke about... Fabrice Wamara, I've nicknamed him the Menace. He, uh, he's not letting him have an easy game there. The crowd's starting to get pretty vocal here. Not quite sure who they're supporting, Bruce. Uh, both. Down the middle. They're just enjoying the football. It's been a really entertaining game. Bruce has come up now, so it's going to advantage running from pretty much the right-hand corner of your screen to the left-hand corner. So you'd have to say Alenic. But if you're taking a corner from uh, the grandstand side, they'll hold up. There's a long shot and way off her target from unusual for uh, Silianos Rodros to take a shot from there. So the keeper urgently collects the ball, comes running in. And again, they're trying to play out from the back. And they have. They've done and it look very at that work. well. Uh, I think he just slipped uh, there. I don't think there was there. any. It was a fall. Yeah. And luckily for Hellenic, it was. It's a great play initially. Yep. And the American comes in. There's definitely a few Verdi fans in the crowd, Bruce. Yeah. Dave Clark in there. Great tackle. Those, the two centre-backs were either side tonight. Uh, David Clark and Alex Turner have both been, been sensational yeah, for either side. Yep. And Dave, uh, as I said, born in the US and... Uh, his biggest footballing champion is scoring the game-winning goal to clinch the Northwest Division Championship in 2007 in the USL Division 2. In the Northwest, is a tough competition. Says he's from Utah, which yep. um, anyone that has been to Alice, those beautiful mountain ranges there, yep. look very similar they're very flying similar. in there. Yeah, my word. Right, the sub on it. Verdi's first and only sub so far, number 17. That's Mutt Yule. And he's out there, the big number 17. I love Hall. He's going out to get the ball now. And Hall's biggest achievement, sorry, mate, his biggest achievement is coming to Darwin Verdi to play FFA Cup. Whoa, whoa. Well done. And that's a, that's a fortuitous one for Lennick. That was going to be kicked out with all hope, and it's now come off and ricocheted and will be a goal kick. So, uh, K. McAdam will go and collect that. And a tall young keeper for Hellenic. Has had much to do in the second half. As yet. And that only means one thing, that traffic will be coming his way shortly. He sets up a very interesting last 15 minutes here as well because Verdi have to make a decision soon. If they don't get one in the next five, they're going to have to push players on, which could leave them exposed on the counter-attack. And Hellenic are known for that, although they do have a, 
a few players missing tonight that would love to be out there and especially Doing in that, that attacking exactly. third. But it will be interesting to see if there's any directions from the coaching staff to really start to go at them now. Right, Kukannon has had more impact in the second Praskas half. Coombe. He's free here. Can he slot it? Lovely work Great from the keeper. Save. Fantastic. Great work from Kukannon. Coombe also. And it needed a great save from the keeper, and he delivered on a platter. Well done. Great save from the cool goalkeeper. On the, on the money. There's uh, the captain, Romeo. Great work there from Fabrice Wamara, keeping the ball close control. And this With is the where the Verde have been really good tonight. They've been able to keep the ball, but Felicio has just dispossessed the centre back there. Unfortunately, he's given it straight back to them. But he's won it back, which has done really well. We need somebody in the box here for them now. Muskie over the top. Good cannon, first touch. Good challenge there. Two of them went on it from Verde. Fabrice up again. Turner with him. Great battle watching those two go around. Billius. Coombe back to him. Where it started. Rossi has a look. Goes there. So they have... And Clark comes in with a uh, affirmative tackle, we'll call it. Sulev down on his knees. He'll be up shortly. And is. Pulls up his socks. And gets immediately up and says, Joseph, sorry, seniority. 24 moves away from Melanic. Three in the wall. Timmy Lay, the keeper. A uh, keeper. The keeper of cards. Thank you, that's it. The <laughs> uh, referee in there telling the story about the walls. He shot before. I think he's going to whip this one in for Here one of the Here he goes. Boys. He has a little one. It's a variation of Billius. Billius puts one across goal. They're up to it again, Verdi. He goes in. They leave him alone. And this ball will be shadowed out. Well played. It's great defending. Isn't it? They, real, real, they do it with such poise. They do, and they haven't shied away from it. And yeah. Coming from a side in Alice where I would imagine the strength of the competition... Sorry, we'll go been. here now for Fabrice. Warimer. Can they get a second goal? Turns it inside. Got the ball. Turner's there again. Turner does what Turner does, but only this far. Now we have Sresna. Sresna puts one across. Turner again. Even for Alex slips. And then Fabrice, and then Billius in there. Well done, Ross Billius. Exciting stuff there, Bruce. Exciting stuff. They really have Melenic on the ropes there. We're getting into that period, Matty. We are. And as I was saying then, for a side Verdi that's come from the Alice competition, which I would imagine wouldn't quite be as strong as the, the Durham Premier League, they've adapted so well. And they it's have. a seamless introduction to them, to Hellenic. It's like they play in this league every week. And I've been really, really impressed with some of their players tonight. And again, unfortunately, not able to, to get a shot on target or in anger there. But it's, it's opening up for them. Absolutely, as we hit the 78-minute mark on the Northcrest scoreboard. Thank you to Ward Keller, the Territory Law Firm. We're going to have a sub. Territory Law Firm, Ward Keller. And as I mentioned, they are the personal and business dispute resolution experts. 1-800-978-360. 1-800-978-360. Thank you to McDonald's for the live streaming of this game here in the FFA Cup. FNT chapter. Subs have been ringing out. I want to thank Steel Line for service over and above in the steel supply business in the NT and NTF, the construction supply specialist. They are your local construction supplier. Interesting so the subs substitution have come on. there. It is. Uh, Stelianus has worked really hard and and uh, and gone off the pitch on the far side. Otherwise, we had 13 versus 11. Stelianus. So he's gone from the field. Uh, Yuna, uh, Juna Gama has come on. I think it was, isn't it? Yes, yep. it is. And also the other sub has gone forward with the man bun. And that's Ethan Paradisus, isn't it? Which one is that? Didn't see his number. We'll get it shortly. For Hellenic? Yeah. It's Ethan. It is Ethan. Okay, thank yeah. you. Right, we're into uh, just over 10 and a bit minutes of regulation time to go. Can Verdi get one back? They're in a chance now. The big 17 is making his run down. Still on the ball. Turns on the inside, the big man. Rodos, uh, sorry, um, Trachillus comes at him again. Clark goes back out to his left back. Well, in the left back position, anyhow. Look at that lovely work there. Right, and he won the ball. Well played. Comes back inside to the big number 
17 to puts it again into Hall has gone forward. This one comes over the top. The balls collide, pulled away. Well done, Players Kane come McAdam. together. Turner. It's very brave from Kane McAdam there. A lot yeah, of keepers wouldn't really have done that. Really brave from both of them. Yeah, for sure. There's no malice in it. Kane no. won the ball, and the striker just... We've, we've nicknamed him the menace, yep. Fabrice Wamara. Looks to be a bit of argy out there. there. Players just need to settle down here. More so for Hellenic. They're winning the match. You know, this is vital time. It's, it's exactly. going off the clock, but yep. there was no malice in that challenge from either player. No. And it seemed to be the players that weren't involved in it took offence to it. Exactly right. And uh, the two that were involved were just out and out courageous. Came in, collided, and the ball will restart again after all that. Much about nothing. Much ado about nothing. So, he's up. The, the coach has got some words of wisdom out to his striker, Felicia Kataris. And now you have Kane McAdam on the ball. Referee's having a chat. Don't know what about. We can get back into it. Uh, 81 minutes have passed. This is live streaming of the semi-final here in uh, the Northern Territory. And Verdi have come up from Alice Springs, have been determined and resilient from the get-go. And there's no better example of that where Fabrice Warimba came in and stood his ground and so did the young Kay McAdam. Brave from both players. And it was a great football leading up to that again for Verdi. And the important part about that challenge for, for Verdi um, and for the menace, the striker up front for Brees Wamara is that the next time that ball comes out and, and Kane McAdam has to come out and try to collect that, he knows that he's going to be coming for that ball. Yep. So that can play mind games with you as a, as yep. a goalkeeper. Yep. So that challenge might not necessarily have made an impact then, but it will in, in future challenges. So um, as we discussed, there was no malice in it. Just two players going for the ball. The referee sorting out the card yeah. keepers. Yeah, he is. The card keepers talking him out. Thank you very much. <laughs> And uh, he's having a chat, Dave to Turner. He's got him a yellow. He's going to give you know, go, uh, the other player, which I think was, again, we're sorry, these numbers are so hard to read. It's uh, Timolin Edison, I think. And he'll go back, it was, yeah. So I think he got a yellow. I'm not sure. It might have been to uh, Gamma, but it wasn't. Okay, Dambo on the ball. We're back into the football. 20, uh, sorry, 82 and... Uh, 30 seconds have passed on the Northcrest scoreboard. 2-1 advantage to Hellenic. There's been no goals since half-time. Now it's intervention from the number seven. And Edison goes across field. Another great challenge coming from uh, Johnson. Putting pressure. Nice pressure on the uh, Sulab Muskie. And uh, intercepted by the number seven. Local time's just gone after 10 p.m. here in Darwin in the Northern Territory. And a great game of football. 83 minutes. Ball's loose and gone across, but finds the most effective player out there in Sulav Muskie. Kukanen goes back. Now to the sub. Kukanen with it again. Puts it through to the other sub. And number 17 gets a lucky bounce there that comes out to the wide player. Puts a long ball in. And this will be the way of the blue and whites. Rabin Shrethna is saying it came off the other team, sir. And the referee having nothing, nothing, uh, having nothing to do with that. It's right, throw in for Billy. Sorry, it'll be a long one. It's better to play, but from Hellenic, they're building the play up a little bit more, keeping the ball, finding, finding space. And they Looks need like to. Felicia has dropped back into the midfield. Right, gotcha. And Nathan's he... going up to the, the number nine position. Yep. So a little change in formation with personnel. We'll see if that affects the game. Right, Harry Charles on a run. Going towards the goal. Turns it back inside where it should have been cleared away, but didn't. Now it is. Challenger bodies there. This will go the way of uh, the Verdi. And it is. Strathnow on the ground. Referee says to the keeper, bring the ball back here. Rabin Shrethner straight up. Brushing the, uh, the Larrakia Park grass off his head. Right, right over there is Hall. Playing an FA Cup semi-final. Right on, Felicio. 
Nyembo. Sees the run of Kukannon. But number seven's up to it. A nice play from Edison. Shrethna, Rabin showing his skills, goes in the middle. That's Romeo, the captain, I think. Now it goes to Amosa. Amosa's too heavy on that one. Nice idea, wrong execution. We have now under five minutes of regulation time left in this semi final. 2 1 Hellenic's advantage. Can Verdi get one back? Will Hellenic hold them off? Little waste of a few seconds there by the experienced keeper in Kami Adam for Hellenic. He'll go across field. Couple of subs coming in the last part of this game from Verdi. Slipping of a player out there. And the American puts the ball through. Uh, sorry, that was Hall. Put the ball through to uh, Edison. Now Shrethna trying to find Fabrice. Fabrice Warama does turn the ball around. This has got to be kept in if it can be, and it has. Off goes Amosa. Nyambo gets there. All ball. Great track. Referee says I want to go to a sub. So first of all, it'll be Hellenic. Who are up there first. Harry Charles coming, coming off. The pitch. 82nd oh. minute. Mario Camero for Hellenic. Harry's worked his backside off tonight. Earns himself a five-minute spell at the end. He did play in the game on Tuesday night as well for Dar against Darwin Hart, so maybe fatigue a factor. Demi trying to shore up that back line. And uh, we're going to have two subs for Verdi. Great to see them go on too. So number three is Claudio Olivares. Number three. You can see the numbers nice and clear here. They're only about 20 metres from us. Uh, and number five as well, which is Tap Kulang. Don't know if he's related to the keeper. That cap's going on. And there goes our favourite player for sure. Uh, that is, we could nickname him the menace because he just does what a striker should do. That's Fabrice Wawama. Well done, mate. And also Rabin Shresner as well going Didn't on. Didn't he put in some good stuff? Yes, he, he did. did yeah. Two players I would have liked to see out there if I'm Verdi. Yeah. Yeah. They've uh, played very well tonight, worked their, their backside off, and they've actually got in good positions to affect the game. So for, for the final five minutes, I would have liked to see them stay on, but maybe these players that can come on and, and, and do some sort of damage in the last Let's part see. of this game. Well, they've got two and a half minutes of reg time, plus some time added, I'd say. Romeo, the captain. Kulak is on the ball now, number eight. Can it be a short one? Billius has just been brought forward because he just doesn't know. They're going to go short. Now he pushes it on to Romeo on his left foot, turns it in. And that's too long. Idea was good. Execution not so good. The thing I've liked about some of these variations, Bruce, is they've obviously worked on them uh, on the training pitch. And whether they've actually on the plane come on the way or not. Up. Yeah, on the plane What's on the way What's that ball up? bouncing around in here? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they have, yeah. Nauts and crosses as well, probably. That's right. But it's good to see that they've actually tried to implement them in the game. People from the east and south have no idea when Alice Springs' flight to here is as long as it is. It's longer than going to Brisbane or Melbourne from Sydney. Twice as long. Right, there's the sub. His first interaction is a header. Number three, Claudio Olivares. Olivares. Right, can Verdi get one back? We're into a minute and a half of regulation time. It's good work from Ethan there, trying to... Now Nambo gets around. Nambo behind the defence. He'll turn on the inside and he's right. Boot and the player falls down. The shot should have been taken. Ball comes away. And it'll be followed over there and put out of play. No, it's come back down into play. And Gana has the ball. It's a great chance for Joseph Nambo there. The referee was going to play advantage, but none's going to come. None will be forth with, so he'll go back. And they'll leave it for Hall. He's David Clark there, uncharacteristically falling over to yeah, very bad moment, but they got away for it. Yeah, he's been sure-footed all night until then. Here's a chance. Number seven in there again. Clears it away, goes back to the aforementioned Clark. He puts one forward to the first sub we saw for Verdi, the big number 17. He puts trying to get one around to his equally tall-statured man. Oh, here comes Hall on a run. Going through the middle. Still going. And now... Tackled by Trochilis. Uh, Game starting to open up now. Both sides looking to capitalise on mistakes. Referee playing advantage. Now Olivari is on the ball. Moves forward. He's got to put one in. He does. It's a good ball in. Finds his header. Oh, my goodness. 
We all went up. Darwin went up. And everybody is taking a big breath. That looked like a goal. Great play. Great play from Verdi there. Unfortunate with the final header. Be five minutes. Time added on five minutes. We just heard there from Bruce. It'll be five out of minutes, which will only increase the hype. And the supporters have gone. We've got five minutes. Let's make some noise. They do. They do. Fair wow. bit of support here for Alice. A great header. Opportunity for Verdi. That is just sums up this football team. They are playing it down to the wire. That's a loose one from Hall. But now Romeo, the captain's in there. Bodies around. Romeo will get it back. Lunges forward. Billius tries to go forward. That's uh, a dangerous one. Both players looked like they might have popped a knock here. I don't think there was any malice by either player, no, but they just no, got just caught in an awkward position. It was there. a really awkward position. Billius will get a yellow, and he does. And Turner's down, so is the uh, number seven. Right, now we've got a trainer on for Verdi first. We've got a trainer on for Atlantic. Let them do their job. Okay, we're into time added on here and a really exciting and uh, adventurous semi-final. One goal separates them, but no goals in the second half. There was a real opportunity for a, the Verdi just shortly from a header. I actually didn't get the number plate of the header, did you? It was the substitute. It number was number 17. 17? Yeah, it was number 17. Yeah, well on. done. It was yell. The game. He, yep. He's had some really good touches on the ball, and there was actually the substitute number three. Oh, was it? Uh, from the cross, yes. It was a good one. In. Claudio yep. Olivares. Yep. Hopefully that's the right pronunciation. It is. It is. So, great link up play His for His birthplace me. is uh, Chile. Again, a disability support worker in Alice Springs. His biggest responsibilities, sorry, his biggest achievements is responsible to turn the lights on and off. <laughs> Thank you, Claudio. Didn't stipulate whereabouts, so no, no, well, maybe he's got the job here tonight, Bruce. Maybe he does. We'll, we'll actually <laughs> hold him back and he can do that. Um, that's a, a, a great achievement. <laughs> Always got to know where the switch is. Yeah. Um, right, we've still got players down. This is the semi final of the FFA Cup, FNT chapter. Plenty of conversation come from both technical areas. Turner moves from the field, shaking his head. Referee saying you don't have to lead the field. That's what he's trying to explain to him. The card keeper leaving his cards in his pocket for now. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe spoke too soon. Yep, but he's going to give, have a word to the coach who came on the pitch. He's talking to the coach, not anyone else. The yellow card, come, come on the pitch, mate. The yellow card to another of the technical area. Right, ball place. Here we have Romeo Johnson on the ball. A little bit of drama here in the fourth. Right, now we're settled down. We've got time added on. No one is leaving their seat. In fact, be in your seat because someone will take it. Here we go. Moving in. And he comes in. It's a lovely ball if it's on that side, but no one's there. And nice work from uh, Kane. He's so <laughs> Kane just knows every trick. Be interesting yeah. to see uh, how much more time is added yeah, on now. Yeah, there's probably a bit for that, so we've still probably got five. Yeah, I'd say, at least. We could be here on Monday, mate. <laughs> okay, ball comes down, so K. McAdam will get it settled. Right, 2-1 uh, at the moment for Hellenic. They're running from right to left on your screen. If you've just joined us, you've missed an amazing game of football. It's still going. It has so much life left in it. Nyambo gets there first. Pulled away by Bilius. Uh, and uh, that'll come the way of Hellenic. They've won the throw there as well. A little bit more time yep. for them to chew away at here. I'm sure Rossi Billius won't be too keen to get this ball in. No, he'll just play. Carry, carry it down with his big right hand, clearing the ball. Now he throws it. Goes down to Nyembo over the top. Goes, I think, 
Can't see him, but I think it's R Romeo. You'll have to be careful here, Rossi, because he is on a yellow card. He, he did get a yellow card before, so... <laughs> yep, throws down. No time wasting for him. Goes in and takes a shot with that defensive tackle. And Sulo Muskie, watch out for him. Now, two tandem defensive efforts from Verdi get him out of trouble. Hall's gone forward, it seems. And up comes number seven, Timberland Edison, thrown in by Hall instead. It's a knee away by Trachillis. Now Hall gets back in and ahead of it. No real shape out there, man. Everyone's just gone forward. Now it comes out. Verdi with the ball. An opportunity here. Came through. He's onside. Good defence from uh, still have the captain, Muskie. Now it comes away, Kukannon. Kukannon on that far side. Pushes the ball forward. He thought someone would be there, and they weren't. Now he gets there to 17. Well and truly late to that party. Now Turner up. With exquisite timing from Turner. Anywhere will do right now for Hellenic. Now it's a good effort there from uh, Trachillis. Ball comes over the top. Pushed away by Bilius. Then he comes out again. Shot on goal. No, he's going to turn on the inside, put it in. Look at Turner. Great work, Alex Turner. If he can find Ethan, he's away look here. Look at that ball away. And he couldn't control it. Now Mario Camiro has an opportunity. Turner's going to stay forward. Mario goes around. Yellow card for the number three. So the card keeper brings it out. And it's a yellow for the sub. It's great work there Born from, in Chile. from Mario Camaro then. He probably yeah. did have options to the right, but he thought he might just chew a bit more time off and take the, the, the fresh substitute on down the line. He's won his team a free kick, which will evidently chew a bit more. As you said, Nabby there on the right end as well. Kids up late. They've been on sugar and they're running everywhere. Amok. <laughs> okay. The little, little ones here. Keep the Redskins away from oh, them in the canteen. Seriously. We're going to have to take them out of the canteen. Um, anyhow. No so Redskins after seven, Bruce. That's right. Um, still have Muskie on the ball. Number 10, the captain. Moves in. Look at that. Look at that. That is so Sulev. It was close. We did say it before in the commentary. He shaped it for a free kick a little bit further out. And if there's yep. anybody else, you might be asking questions, but he definitely has the technique for it. There's expectation, anticipation, and tension in the uh, crowd. This is a game that's had everything. And then topped off by a lovely attempt at goal by then. Now the ball's come forward, and Hall's done that. He's moved forward. He's put real presence up front. Dips one over the top. Turner again, as Turner does. Cannon in the middle with Hall. They're going to come together. Now there's a chance for, uh, I think it's Johnson. Now the ball comes forward. And this will be put away by the American Clark. And he'll... No, the ball's still in play. And the sub makes a run. Cleared away in the end by the number three. And I'll have... Uh, Claudio Olivares puts it over the goal line. And it'll come now to a... Keeper looks like he's got cramp. His right leg is uh, bothering him. Feels like we've had about 10 minutes of uh, injury time here, Bruce. <laughs> no wonder he's got cramp. Mate, you have to go to Diamond Barbers because that beard's getting out of control. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sulev on the run. Turns on the inside. Goes across. Dangerous ball. Cleared away by that ever-present Verdi defence. He goes Hall on a run. Now it's to um, Gao Chu, and he puts a lovely ball over the top. But Kane's there. Good work from McAdam. Tall Miller got his head to it. Mario Camaro goes back. And it's a forward ball from the defender. Nyembo goes across field. Challenged, still with the ball, keeping it for his side. Goes out to, to Killis. He goes forward. And Sulev Muska, who you don't want to have the ball, has the ball. He puts an early one in. Cleared away by Claudio. Now Verdi set again. Referee just looked at his watch. They can break here. They've got numbers forward if they get the ball. Now it comes to uh, Gao Chun. And Bikesh puts it through. Hall's got it. He's got someone on the left. He's got someone on the right. He goes to the right. Offside. Every crowd member went up. Every crowd member goes back down. Surprised. There he has go. the whistle. What a game. What a game. 
poor young keeper was going to come on. He would have had three seconds. He didn't even get on the pitch, a young fella. So that brings that game to a close. 2-1, Hellenic are the winners over Verdi. With so much spirit they brought to this game. And they will go through, that is Hellenic, to the final where Casarino awaits. We'll take a short break, get a player up and have a toe. But in the meantime, we've loved bringing you this live streaming. Wherever you've been watching, we thank you for your support. What a semi-final. We'll hear from Matty Nab shortly, and we'll talk to a player.
Well, that was a game for the ages. We are so privileged to see that football match progress through 90 minutes. Plus, as we were saying, Matty, time added on. We could have grown a beard and ended up in Monday. But it was a fantastic game of football. Alex Turner's with it. Matty Nab with me as well. Alex, that was a great game to play on. Just a sense of occasion. Was it good to play in a semi-final? Yeah, absolutely. Um, especially with the FA Cup not being here last year. Um, the boys are really up for it. But both teams definitely um, wanted to be there and it was a great game for all that came down to watch. Um, Alice Springs definitely um, showed that they're not just here for numbers. Absolutely agree. Your performance was exemplary, mate, as usual. Matty? Yeah, I'd just like to think um, how, how you've adapted in the game to some of those injuries. Obviously, we've got a few players out already, but I thought you guys worked really well. That, that injury to Blake Holmes in the end probably helped the shape for us, a bit more structure. How'd you find that out in the pitch? Yeah, um, from the start we you know, didn't have a set number nine losing Manoli and Simon, so we've had to play like a false nine. So we haven't had really like a, a subject person up front to go to, so we were having to play the ball and, and uh, Birdie played really high. Um, and yeah, Blake going early, it does change things, but um, everyone that came on did their job and uh, obviously got us the win in the end, so it was great. Yeah. Awesome. Also, I guess the hardest thing for us or for anybody in this region, being able to have a look at, at Verdi before we, get, we actually play them, they're obviously able to, to do that from the live stream. How did you go into the game and, and did you know of any of their players beforehand? Yeah, that's the thing with the live stream, uh, does give them that, that advantage over us. So I did have a little bit of research at work before, noticed they were undefeated in the league. Um, obviously, we still have a couple of players, the captain, uh, coach guy, um, great player, great goal as well, hats off to him. Yep. But um, yeah, they had some great players all over the field, so um, definitely one to watch going forward. Um, I'm sure they'll give anyone a run for their money. And Alex, you were part of the, the, our team today to go through the uh, final of the FNT version or chapter of the FFA Cup and uh, your performance tonight, mate, was fantastic. And I know you've got some bruises and, and uh, scrapes for it, but that's how you play the game. No nonsense, 100%. So well done, mate. Congratulations. My name's Bruce Stalter, Matty Nab. That is Alex Turner. We'll take a short break and we'll bring in someone from Verdi who also just took our breath away with a goal in the first half. This is FNT TV in the uh, post game, and we're going through the interviews. And this is an interview I'm really looking forward to. I'm joined by Bakesh. Bakesh, you scored a goal for the ages out there, mate. We just love watching that. Now, let's tell me a little bit about your background. Why are you in Alice Springs? Yeah, because um, my I got uh, for the job. Yep. Uh, I have moved out there. Yep. Um, that's why my family is there. So I have moved to Alice Springs. So. Yeah. You seem like you know how to play football, that's all I'll say. You obviously have experience, you have time in the, in the universal language that's called football, you know it. And, uh, yeah, because I, I, I did play A-League on back in the home, uh, back in our country. Yep. So, uh, and after that, after I retirement, I had a coach experience. Yes. But after I came uh, to the Australia, I again started playing and uh, I was in Sydney, then I moved to Alice Spring and I joined this Verdi last year. Yep. And then I do coaching as well as I do play. Right. Yeah, well the player next to you will have to score a goal too and run up and down like you do. Maddie Nab, you got a couple of questions for Bakesh? Yeah, look, I'd be interested to know whether you're able to look at any of the video, video footage online beforehand and, and get a real understanding of, of how Hellenic play and did that play any advantage to you guys during the game? Yeah, definitely, because uh, I've been falling down league uh, regularly from last year. I think, yeah, uh, comparing to last year, Hellenic is like a bit of, you know, the changes in the players. Yep. But still, they are really good. So that's why uh, from from the last month before the FFV started, we really work hard out in Alice Spring because I know it's different weather out there and here. Yes. It's pretty <laughs> cold out there and like it's like warm here. Yeah. So comparing to there and I know we, know we need to work more harder here. So even though uh, I'm very happy with the result and whatever the boys deliver the yeah. game is I'm pretty happy. And then whatever we have the tactical game, it did work, really work. Yeah. Matty? Yeah, no, look, I was very surprised with, with how well you played football and how well you adapted to Hellenic and the game. 
Uh, obviously, being in the, in the league down there, I would imagine you guys are obviously the best side. I thought you adapted to what Hellenic threw at you guys, but also the way you, you move the ball around and things like that, you're obviously very well coached. Uh, are you involved in that way at all? Yeah, definitely, because um, uh, from season started, uh, I've been looking after the boys, because uh, it's the same as here, like we do, do training twice in a week, yep. Tuesday and Thursdays, and I always focus on the boys about the fitness, as well as one day I'll do the fitness, the next day I'll start focusing on the ball work. So how we going to do on the weekends, the tactical, definitely on Thursdays, we do the tactical games on Thursdays, so that's why this is the new formation, because uh, last year we played different formation out there and this is new formation yep. that we played three and five and one 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 on the top so this is a really different formation and boys were really adapted with their formation from the beginning of the season that's why uh, to be honest we are like good out of good out over there and we have not lost a single game out there till now <laughs> and it's really good competitive <laughs> up here with the Hellenic and yeah, I'm very satisfied with the boys' performance. Well, Bakesh, if you had games like this week in and week out, you would be frightening your football team. We, you should be so proud of what you produced tonight. As Matty said, you came to play football, your attitude was spot on, and you played from whistle to whistle. The whistle kept going a long time, but you got there in the end. Your goal was spectacular. We are so, so proud to have you here. It was great to host you. I hope you've enjoyed your time here. When you go back home, you should be so, so proud of those boys that were around you out there tonight. G of course, a legend of the club from Verdi. He's up here with you. I say hello to Gio as well. He's been such a, a stalwart of that club. But uh, Bakesh, well done. Congratulations. You made the semi-final. You have much to talk about when you get on the plane. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I will thank to Darwin NT, definitely uh, NT FFA. Yep. Um, uh, uh, from Verdi, definitely a uh, huge respect from us yep. to the uh, FFA NT. And then it's uh, was good welcome out here yeah. and I think yeah everyone was satisfied with our game okay. <laughs> definitely Absolutely. so uh, I hope we will come better next year obviously the score definitely does matter for us to the next year <laughs> we, we will come more stronger next year definitely thank well, you very much for yeah. hosting us because it's been a pleasure and they're fighting words for the rest of the competition up here that's what they you are. want to hear my name is Bruce Stalder this is Bikesh and I'm going to say Gauchon Gotcha. And uh, Maddie Nab over here is known as Yabby from now on. Anyhow, thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Bakesh. My name's Bruce. Thank you for coming on whatever live streaming, whatever device, wherever you're watching. It is so good to bring you this semi final. What a semi final it was, was. We now look forward to the final of the FFA Cup here in the NT, and that'll be on June 22. Make sure you watch it when Casarina will take on Hellenic. Up until then, we wish you all the best. Have a safe time, and we'll see you again when you're in Darwin.